I used two 16 by 20 canvases. The one canvas, I cut it out to fit the, around the monitor, and the second canvas, I tore completely off. I used double-sided tape to hold the monitor onto the canvas up around the silver part of it, not to cover the um, monitor itself. Double-sided tape did not hold it in place, so I tried using popsicle sticks wedged up and around it. That did not hold it. So then I went to Dollar Tree and picked up some foam poster board, foam board, and then I made a mat up around the framing itself, wedged it in there, and that is what helped. I used black acrylic paint around it. I didn't like the placement of the control board, so I added two more boards to it. First, I'm going to get one coat of black acrylic paint all around it, and then I, of the framing part of it, or the monitor side, and then I stuck some, like, permanent tape that I actually found at um, Dollar Tree, stuff you would use for crickets, and it came all sparkly, so this is how this turned out. So far, that's how I painted it. Um, and then as on the sides, you can tell that I painted the sides because I glued the two panels together to give it some depth and I struggled trying to get the monitor to stay so what I ended up doing is taking um, foam board from Dollar Tree and I cut it around here uh, right here you can see it better just to fit the frame then I added the wood um, and then I added another piece right there because I needed to get this more secure. That's the control panel portion. And then I added some popsicle sticks. And I added silver tape. We probably don't need that tape. Um, I just wanted to stay on it. It's what I happen to have. Um, I'm sure duct tape would work just fine too. But this is my connection of it so far. Um, one thing I want to note on the control boards, if you do this for yourself, um, one mistake I found when I purchased it, I did not get one with the USB. That would make my life a whole lot easier on setting this up. So I would recommend making sure that you get a USB added, you know, with your control board. Make sure it has a USB. This one happens to have um, HDMI, which is fine. And then all those, and then the audio in and out. And that's the power button right there. And then you have these little cool features over here. Uh, menu, left, right, exit, select, on and off switch. Okay, I just wanted to show you that part just to make sure. And I took the, some of the, the tape over here away. I wanted to give it some breathing room because it was running hot. And I also added, right there you can tell, I added on a... Um, heat sink just to cool it down a little bit too because I didn't want to overheat. Okay, I will show you more in just a moment. Okay, so my next stage was adding it to the easel, which I actually made also. Um, I can, I will post a video on how I did that. And all of this, I use scrap wood, honestly. And then, so I decided it needed some gold splotches on it. I just plop, 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 plop onto the black. And then what I used was this one. Uh, folk art, metallic gold. I bought this at, I believe, Walmart. I wanted to show you that the repositioning of the control board made it fit better on the easel. And then I took and I screwed in through the easel on the top and bottom to make sure it stayed on there so nothing would fall off. This time I wanted to just kind of show you how I, I just dabbed it on, but this time I'm using copper on top of it, and of course that is folk, folk art also. And I just I will just show you just a little bit. I'm not gonna do a whole video of it, but I just dab it in here just a little bit, and then just plop, plop, plop. I don't even know what the turn is on top. Like 
next time. And I will finish this up and show you the finishing. Now, after the copper was added, I just love this effect. I did this on a couple other little projects that I did. And you can put as much on it as you want. And if you don't like it, just smear it back over again until you get just the way you want it. And I love it. Okay, so now I'm getting ready to go to the finishing part of how I run this, and you'll get to see. Okay, to the finishing of my Unliving Portrait. I'm just using my DVD player. Um, oh, actually it's a Blu-ray player. DVD player, doesn't really matter as long as it has an HDMI port connector. And then I'm using the HDMI port on the back of the control board. And then I bought this speaker from Five and Below. It's a blue Bluetooth, but I am just taking the auxiliary cord and I connected it through the sound port cord here. Now, when I made my, I simply made the DVD with all the photos on my Windows computer. I used a simple um, video editor. I think it comes with Windows 10 just to create it. So now let's see here. I'm gonna power it on. Okay, so now I had turned off this part. So we just go right here, flip on the monitor. And that's normal to do. And then I, oops. And this one's the same I bought that a couple years ago. just over loop or just keep looping over and over and over um, the first frames I actually used the still frames I did no border vertical Oh, you know what? I bet I forgot to turn it off. Let me check this. 